Hello, Internet. How are you? I am enjoying a big glass of lemonade because my mouth is on fire because I'm having wings for dinner. And the kids are going to pause their video so we can read Oz together. Woohoo! Um, yeah, I'm having hot wings for dinner and they're very spicy and my face is hurting. So my daughter brought me a big cup of lemonade because she's very nice. And Arthur says, the bad guy on Phineas and Ferb is eating hot wings. And I feel like the bad guy on Phineas and Ferb is not having wings quite as spicy as I am because he would not be happy. All right. Tonight is chapter two of The Magic of Oz, the next to last book in the Oz series. Holy cow. So let's read. Uh, if I can hope my sinuses are emptying themselves from these wings. Holy cow. Chapter 2 is entitled, <clears throat> The Hawk. Even a hawk has to fly high in order to cross the deadly desert, from which poisonous fumes are constantly rising. Kiki Aru felt sick and faint by the time he reached good land again, for he could not quite escape the effects of the poisons. But the fresh air soon restored him, and he, slighted, and he alighted in a broad tableland, which is called Highland. Just beyond it is a valley known as Lowland. And these two countries are ruled by the gingerbread men, John, the gingerbread man John Doe, with Chick the Cherub in, as his prime minister. The hawk merely stopped here long enough to rest, and then he flew north and passed over a fine country called Maryland, which is ruled by a lovely wax doll. Then, following the curve of the desert, he turned, toward, he turned north, and settle on a treetop in the kingdom of No Land. Kiki was tired by this time, and the sun was now setting, so he decided to remain here till morning. From his treetop, he could see a house nearby, which looked very comfortable. A man was milking a cow in the yard, and a pleasant-faced woman came to the door and called him to supper. That made Kiki wonder what sort of food hawks ate. He felt hungry, but didn't know what to eat <clears throat> or where to get it. Also, he thought a bed would be more comfortable than a treetop for sleeping, so he hopped to the ground and said, I want to become Kiki Aru again, Persquixgul. Instantly, he had resumed his natural shape, and going to the house, he knocked upon the door and asked for some supper. Who are you? asked the man in the house. A stranger from the land of Oz, replied Kiki Aru. Then you're welcome, said the man. Kiki was given a good supper and a good bed and he behaved very well, although he refused to answer all the questions the good people of No Land asked him. Having escaped from his home and found a way to see the world, the young man was no longer unhappy, and so he was no longer cross and disagreeable. The people thought him a very respectable person, and gave him breakfast the next morning, which, after, he, after which he started on his way, feeling quite contented. Having walked for an hour or two through this pretty country that is ruled by King Bad, Kiki Aru decided he could travel faster and see more as a bird, so he transformed himself into a white dove and visited the great city of Knoll and saw the king's palace and gardens and many other places of interest. Then he flew westward to the kingdom of Ix, and after a day in Queen Zixi's country, went on westward into the land of Ev. Every place he visited he thought was more pleasant than the saucer country of the Hyops, and he decided that when he reached the finest country of all, he would settle there and enjoy his future life to the utmost. In the land of Ev, he resumed his own shape again, for the cities and villages were close together and he could easily go on foot from one to another of them. Toward evening, he came to a good inn and asked the innkeeper if he could have food and lodging. You can if you have money to pay, said the man. Otherwise, you must go elsewhere. This surprised Kiki, for in the land of Oz, they do not use money at all, everyone being allowed to take what he wishes without price. He had no money, therefore, and so he turned away to seek hospitality elsewhere. Looking through an open window into one of the rooms of the inn, as he passed along, he saw an old man counting on a table a big heap of gold pieces, which Kiki thought to be money. One of these would buy him supper and a bed, he reflected. So he transformed himself into a magpie and, flying through the open window, caught up one of the gold pieces in his beak and flew out again before the old man could interfere. Indeed, the old man who was robbed was quite helpless, for he dared not leave his pile of gold to chase the magpie, and before he could place the gold in a sack, 
and the sack in his pocket, the robber bird was out of sight, and to seek it would be folly. <clears throat> Kikiaru flew to a group of trees and, dropping the gold piece to the ground, resumed his proper shape and then picked up the money and put it in his pocket. You'll be sorry for this, exclaimed a small voice just over his head. Kiki looked up and saw that a sparrow, perched upon a branch, was watching him. Sorry for what? he demanded. Oh, I saw the whole thing, asserted the sparrow. I saw you look in the window with the gold, then make yourself into a magpie and rob a poor man, and then I saw you fly here and make the bird into your former shape. That's magic, and magic is wicked and unlawful, and you stole money, and that's still a greater crime. You'll be sorry some day. I don't care, <clears throat> replied Kikiaru, scowling. Aren't you afraid to be wicked, asked the sparrow. No, I didn't know I was being wicked, said Kiki. But if I was, I'm glad of it. I hate good people. I've always wanted to be wicked, and I don't know how. Ha, 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 laughed someone behind him in a big voice. That's the proper spirit, my lad. I'm glad I've met you. Shake hands. The sparrow gave a frightened squeak and flew away. Oh, sounds like Kiki Aru is about to fall into the bad crowd. But that is the end of Chapter 2, The Hawk. Tomorrow night, we're going to read Chapter 3, Two bad ones. And that's assuming we're home in time. Uh, we are going to visit my parents for Easter tomorrow. And um, I, w I, I have to assume we'll be home by 8 and read chapter 3 tomorrow night. And if we're not, then we'll have to wait till Monday night. But we'll get to chapter 3 soon enough, I promise. Have a good Easter tomorrow. Good night, everyone.